This is Miss Kitty. Sometimes she just hangs out on the roof. Hi everyone, welcome back. The past couple of episodes have been crazy with adventures. We went to Kua Bay, we hiked Mauna Kea, we went to Volcano National Park. Tons of crazy stuff all over the place. But in this episode, we go back to basics and just have a day at Kalani. So come with me to another Monday morning meeting where you get to see some traditional Hawaiian chanting and horticulture puts on some not so traditional Hawaiian chanting. And then Julie and I have the day off, so we spend the day exploring the grounds of Kalani. And we wrap up the day with a traditional Hawaiian hula clap. Okay, so this gratitude chant is um, one that you would sing if you were invited to a party or celebration and you had a good time, you shared food, you shared love, this would be the chant that you would sing to show your appreciation. The Makaloa mat has been unfurled. In love, food is or was shared. The eternal breath of life is exchanged. Honored and adorned with the lehua blossom. From zenith to horizon, reverence to the gods. Gratitude and thanks to our beloved ancestors. Gratitude, admiration, thanks, and love. So this chant is traditionally sung three times, um, and most chants in Hawaiian are sung twice. Um, and this one is sung three times because it's just that much more expression of your gratitude. Here we go. Have a little announcement. I love it when they call me Big Pop. But I send them to the ditches. Here's my horticulture bitches. <laughs>
All right, Julie's taking me to some crazy place. The ceremonial lodge. Can you go in there? Yeah, it looks like a little tiny thing. It's fun? Yeah, you don't think this is fun? I think it's a little claustrophobic. No, if you like candles, then you just stay here and chat. Maybe. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be claustrophobic because it's a sweat lodge. It's a sweat lodge? Yeah, so basically what you do is like you normally there's like a fire pit or something and you sweat out all your toxins like a sauna mm. and you stay in here for like a certain amount of time. It's a Native American like tradition thing. Hmm. Um, and then, Interesting. And then you get out and it's time. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder if this turns on. Oh, there's a little, that thing, yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> so cute. Oh, there's a spider web. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like it in here. Going crazy. Wow, it looks awesome. Pete, can you tell me a little bit about what this van is for? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, basically it's to raise the, the level of spiritual consciousness in the area for people that want to do random acts of kindness. That's so it's nice. It's just letting people know how easy it is to do it. The Rack Pack. Back from um, the beach about doing a random act of kindness day. Do you want to do that soon? Yeah, sure. We can do that soon. Okay. Like I want to. That gets me like seriously. Yeah, I'm thinking. Right. I haven't decided what day it'll gonna be yet. But if okay. you come up with a day, then bring it to and the table. Let's tell talk about people it. People and get the word. Yeah, going. for sure. Oh, yeah. So and what do you think we'd like to do? So if you want to put it on, the deal is find a glove, uh -huh. spray your hands. And when you go to put it on, you want to push all the little knuckles and fingerprints on it. Take your time with it, okay. rather than thump and off. Right. Just be careful because I'm not sure which one's a wet or dry one. Okay. All right, here's our handprints. That one's mine. And that one. And then Julie's is, I think that one. Nope, this one. Nope, I don't really remember which one. This one. Oh, it is that one. Oh. I was trying to open that door. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks so much, Pete. Thank you. This is great. such a great thing you're doing. It's so cool, eh? You have a website? No, I haven't got that far yet. Okay, well, yeah. when you do, let me know. Yeah, I think that's probably the next thing to do is build a Facebook site. Yeah. So any random act of kindness that's posted all over the world, you'll see where, the, oh where they God. are. There we have a picture of a globe or something. That way when people do random acts of kindness in different parts of the world, they can uh, post it on Facebook. That would be amazing. Yeah, then you can cool. see the video. Cool. Maybe by the time I post this video, there'll be a, yeah, a Facebook. Okay, so I just got a package mailed to me from one of my great friends, Kim. So I can't wait to see what's inside. I think I know what it is. Oh, there's some candy down there. Kim, you know me too well. This is my first package, actually my first piece of mail that I've received in Hawaii. So I can't wait. Oh, what is it? This is so cute. I can't wait to see what's inside. I don't know if I'm supposed to open the envelope or the package first. Oh, some Altoids. And some nail polish. Okay, let's open the card. Oh, all this confetti just, <laughs> just popped out everywhere. It's little heart-shaped confetti. Oh man, I'm having a lot of difficulty with this. Hold on, I'm putting the camera down. Okay, it says, will you be my bridesmaid! Oh my god, Kim, I'm so excited. Yes, obviously I'm gonna be your bridesmaid. Oh my god, I'm so excited, Kim. My beautiful friend is getting married. Hey, Jody. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, you know, hula, hula, hula dancing. dancing in Hawaii. <laughs> okay, this is the hardest thing you've learned in class today. <laughs> you got it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! There we go. 
She's looking more relaxed. Look at that Hella. Love it. So, oh, she, oh no, now you got us. <laughs> I need a little oil. Good job. Good job, guys. How do you awesome. feel about your hula experience? Awesome. I feel like a pro. <laughs> minutes to put on every time. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> they look so good with your dress. Thanks. <laughs> well, my most favorite days were off exploring outside of Kalani. I just can't get over how much fun we used to have when we didn't have any plans and we were just hanging out at Kalani together as a family. It was so much fun. And one part of today's episode that I really want to touch on is the Rack Pack vehicle you saw with Pete. Pete is an amazing individual. He actually shipped that plain white van down from Canada to Kalani, and he had everyone from our Ohana put our fingerprints on the van so that he could draw attention to it. And what he does is he drives around in the van and literally just does random acts of kindness whenever he sees an opportunity. I really encourage everyone watching this video today to take a lesson from Pete and do one random act of kindness. It doesn't matter how big or small it is, it can be just finding someone in your cell phone that you haven't talked to in a while and shooting them over a text to let them know how much they mean to you. Any small deed that you can do really has the ability to change a person's entire day. So thank you all in advance for doing your random act of kindness today, and thank you as always for checking in. I'll see you all tomorrow.